recognize me from Shepherd's Kids, and I have some helpers here with me today. Hi, my name is Alex. Hi, my name is Avery. Hi, my name is Allison. Hi, my name is Eric. And this is the fifth week of our children's programming. I know we've been having fun here at home participating, and I hope you have been too. So we hope that you're safe and enjoying this time at home with your family and able to get outside for some of the beautiful weather. So today in our lesson, we're going to learn about the Trinity. So we're going to start off with Addison reading a prayer. You ready? Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as as it was in the beginning, is now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. In today's lesson, there's an important number. That number is three. So let's brainstorm some things that come in threes. Hmm. What could they be? We came up with some ideas. Who would like to go first? Oh, can I? Yes. Um, I thought of from the movie Aladdin, The Genie's Three Wishes. And then I also found this coloring book. It's um, Aladdin also. And then I also thought of Elvin and the Three Chipmunks. Elvin, Simon, and Theodore. And then I also... Um, thought of um, the snow, a snowman with three snowballs. Those are great examples. Thank you. I have one. Uh, Neapolitan ice cream with the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. How it's three kinds. And the three little pigs. And also triplets. Good job. And Eric, did you come up with anything? Yes. From baseball, three strikes. And you're right. And Alex, what about you? Uh, for mine, there's three leaves on a clover. Well, oh. sometimes there's four. But mostly we find ones that have three leaves on the clover. <laughs> yes. So, those are great examples. At home, could you think of anything that comes in threes? Hmm. So we did great. We came up with lots of things that come in threes. Now, when we're talking about our religion, there's another very important thing that is in a three. That's a big word. It's called the Trinity. And with the Trinity, it's God as the Father, God as the Son, and God as the Holy Spirit. So we're going to watch a little video that tells us what the Trinity is all about. There is only one God. But, God has three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Father is the creator of everything. He is the Father of Jesus. God the Father created you and He loves you. We encounter God the Son, as Jesus. Jesus is our Savior, which means He came to teach us about God and save us from sin. After Jesus went to heaven, He sent the Holy Spirit to be with us forever. The Holy Spirit is the third person of God, and He teaches us the truth, warns us of sin, and helps us in all things. Remember, God is three persons, but those three persons are also one God. This is the mystery of the blessed Trinity. I really liked that video. I hope you did too. So, it told us that we know God as three different people. God the Father. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now I want to show you something. I have an apple here, and our apple has three parts as well. 
it has the outside, which is the skin. It has the inside white part, which is the flesh. We call it the flesh of the apple. And on the very middle of the apple is the core, which has the seeds. So let's see how we can compare that to the Holy Trinity. So here we have some of the skin. We can compare the skin of the apple to God the Father, because just like the skin of the apple protects the apple, God the Father protects us. Now we have the inside part of the apple, which is the white part, the flesh. We can compare that to God as the Son, as Jesus. And just like the inside of the skin is flesh, we know Jesus took on human flesh. We know him as a human being. And then finally, the very inside, let's see if I can show you some. Oh, there. We have the core and some seeds. And we can compare the seeds of an apple to God as the Holy Spirit. Because it's just like with the Holy Spirit, we grow in our faith. And with seeds, the apple starts to grow. So I like that comparison of the apple to the Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So now we're going to listen to a song. It's a catchy one. It's going to get in your head. You can repeat it and the words will be on the screen. singing along just like me. So now, as a recap, we've learned so much about the Trinity. And so here's Avery. She's going to read a little poem to sum up what we've learned. Just like the leaves on each shamrock, I see there are three parts to the Holy Trinity. First is God the Father, then Jesus, his only Son. With the Holy Spirit, together they are three in one. Thanks, Avery. Now, for today, we have one more song. This one, you need to get up, find some room, because there's words and actions. 
Listen to the words, sing if you can, and follow along to do the movements. to get up and move a little bit. So if you have some time and you want some extra resources, we have some pages that you can print out and some activities to do at the Good Shepherd website. Some of them look like this. There's a word search and there's another coloring page. So you might have some fun doing those later today. Thanks everyone for joining us. We had fun with this lesson. We hope that you did too. Have a great week. Stay safe and God bless. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye.